Hi everybody and welcome to what's new in the vintage market and we have a very special story this week something that's very dear to my heart and um, actually it's the story of Seth and um, it's a beautiful story but it's also a story story of purpose and I just want to encourage you that no matter where you are in your walk of life from old to young there is a purpose for you all you have to do is find the passion and that passion will flow into blessings that you cannot believe so anyway today it's the story of Seth and Seth is a 16 year old autistic nonverbal young man who lives in this area and I'm going to save the rest for you but Seth is amazing just you wait and see we have the a most amazing story to share with you this week and this story is about Don't. the Doherty's and it's about Seth, Seth and it's about Paul and this isn't the first time I've met this family um, when they found out that I was painting furniture for the blessing board a few years ago they kindly donated boxes of samples of paint because um, Paul and his wife are professional house painters and so they have blessed us before and then a few weeks ago, they came in again, he and Seth, with this most amazing furniture. And I loved it from the very beginning. But then I found the story out. And the story is that Seth and his father, mostly Seth, have developed this passion for woodworking. And so this is how the blessing goes. They are blessing us with his, the product that he has. We're blessing you when you come and you purchase it, and we're blessing them by giving Seth a reason to work and a reason, a purpose. Yeah. And um, we're just, it just goes around and comes around, and God's blessing just comes down. So I wanted to ask you um, why you decided to get involved in woodworking. Well, we're not really woodworkers, but uh, my wife and I were staging one of our houses we were selling to move where we are now, and we were looking for a live-edge table yeah. and couldn't find any. So we figured there must be a market, and Seth uh, has autism, and he uh, does life skills at Fox Chapel High School, and with COVID, we had a lot of free time, so we put all those equations together and decided to try to pursue woodworking or live edge tables, which is minimal amount of woodworking. The key is finding the wood, which we found, yeah. and finding the products to do it, which we found. And Seth loves to sand and assemble, and um, it gives him something to do. And the blessing board is an outlet because we can move his products, the blessing board to bless people, and he can continue to do his sanding and assembling because once he gets going he likes to make a lot of tables okay good, good. good. Can turn it over and see what we got yeah. these are never level okay let's turn it over we, so, all, we always pray when we turn it over <laughs> you sound like me well you know why because we'll fix yeah. it we have to yeah. good yeah. we're praying yeah okay, okay. Yeah. we'll fix it uh, later but wood is never straight. It isn't made. Yeah. And they'll send us out all over the world, but then it's for people that are building cabinets and stuff. Uh -huh. So this, so we know how to straighten it out. Cutting boards especially, get three coats of, of cutting board oil mm -hmm. and then a coat of cutting board wax. So it's wow. all food safe. But at the end, Seth puts all that on. And buffs and at it. at the end, he buffs it. So we're just buffing. Okay. You got the buffing. Yeah, good. Good at all. I'm seeing it shine. Right down the middle. Yeah, good. Very good. Over here. From the chip store. Wow. Nice. Good. Okay, all done? Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to uh, continue to see more of the product that you bring us. And I know he says it's not woodworking. To me, it's artistry. And um, I don't see autism, I see artist. And I just think the blessing is amazing. 
And uh, so please come in to the blessing board. We have a few of his um, objects right now for sale. And when those go, more will be coming in. So um, please come in. And Seth also, you'll see pictures of it, but Seth signs everything that he does with his name. And so they're personalized. And I would love to see that every one of you out there owns a Seth. I think that's how awesome they are. And I think that's Thank it. You. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for Seth. I appreciate it. You say thank you. You're welcome. Mucka. Thank you. So wasn't that an awesome story, the story of Seth? Anyway, you can own a Seth. Come on into the market. Um, we have about four or five pieces right now. And as these go, he's going to continue bringing more and more to us. It's become a ministry for them. And this is a ministry of love for us. So please come in and own a Seth. Thanks. Have a great week.